What's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here. Once again, thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina, where as you've, if you've been keeping up with the following videos uh, from this past, you know, we've been fighting deer. We've been setting up barriers in our back porch to stop the deer from eating our tomato plants and lettuce and all that. We've had fungus in the lawn. We've, we've done an application a, a week or so ago of uh, Cleary's 3336, uh, Armada. We've done uh, all Zoxystrobin, and fungus is just winning the battle uh, until here recently. So uh, it's been a fungus field uh, past couple weeks. So uh, that's what's going on here in North Carolina. But today we're gonna dive into uh, an, a topic that I think uh, deserves a little bit. We've got a little bit of evidence and proof that we can talk about this today. And that's the, the hydrotane issue. Um, specifically foreplay and hydrotane. Foreplay, if you don't know, is something that I've, I'm trying out this year. Foreplay is a combination of four products, um, and I don't have it right here. I came ill-prepared. I'm going to have to put the, the bottle here, but I know that it's hydrotane. It's basically CK. Uh, I want to say fulvic acid, but I don't think that's it. It's some type of surfactant and uh, something else, but it's four products with hydrotane being one of those combined to be a, a supplement for the lawn to help during heat stress and to pull moisture out of the air, but also to amend the soil where hydrotain alone is just a product that if you apply it, it, it begins to absorb humid. When it's humid outside, it absorbs moisture into your grass. Pretty cool, right? So the, the, the rumor for the past couple of years is, well, does hydrotain slash foreplay do these products add fungus to the lawn? Because if they're, Mr. Ferguson, if they're constantly pulling moisture out of the air, it's doing it day, night, you know, who knows? We, you know, we're not grass blades. We can't, you know, prove when it's doing it, but whenever it's doing it, could that be attracting, you know, fungus into the lawn? And so I think I have enough evidence. I filmed Monday's video yesterday and it's the next morning. So I'm filming today. There's not been a big change, but I want to kind of recap Monday real fast. And let's address that topic, at least from my perspective, I wanna show you uh, what my thoughts are on that question or that statement right there. So not to completely go over Monday's video, but uh, last night uh, when I got off work, I was watering as you saw Monday. And uh, this morning I ran the sprinkler uh, on the bank again and on this side of the bank again, it's gonna be close to 85. I think we're supposed to have a lot of rain on Monday. So today's Saturday, if I can make it uh, without completely stressing out the lawn a ton today and tomorrow and make it till Monday, the natural rain should definitely uh, set us up for, for a while. Uh, so we've been watering. but. Uh, uh, going back to the original question, um, I need to cut today. By by by. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing a mow today. It's long. I don't want to be on the grass during the summer. We always talk about it, and I want to stay true to that. We don't want to be on the grass more than we need to. We've got some areas, like I showed you back here, that are the growth has slowed down because of lack of water, because of stress. It's not growing, uh, but other areas is doing perfectly fine. So you got some grass that maybe six inches or you know five inches long, and then you got some grass that's three and a half inches long. We want to get on, mow it, get off, um, and that's what we're going to do today. But I'm going to have to change my blades. Fighting this fungus, I just want to mention, uh, fungus can attach itself to your equipment. You need to wipe it down. Wipe down your wheels. Wipe down your blade or swap blades, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put on a sharper blade. Uh, somebody mentioned, your blades need to be sharpened. I just put that blade on like three weeks ago. It is not a dull blade, but maybe the, the, the sharpening I had done up the street will only last three weeks, and maybe they're right. So uh, if we're seeing in the evidence of the lawn, maybe it's true, right? So I'm going to swap blades today. So that's just a little side note um, to chop it, get, you know, we want air to flow through here. Uh, airflow can be good and bad. When there's moisture mixed in, it could bring in more fungus, but we want it to dry out. Um, and we're hoping this, uh, this application of fungicides will work. So there's a quick update there on, on the fungus battle. We did foreplay in my lawn. And if you use foreplay, it says put down a base rate of nine ounces per thousand square feet. So I said, okay, I'm going to put it every Everywhere in my lawn except for one section and that one section was up here and this section if you watched Monday's video I'm filming this the very next morning it's been less than 12 hours uh, yeah less nah, it's been a little over 12 hours a little over 12 hours this section looks completely different than it did yesterday uh, or Monday's video and uh, I may have some pictures here I can show you a picture of what it looked like uh, yesterday and uh, if I come back, I don't know where I was standing, so I'll try to just stay here. And this is what it's 
it's looking like now. Uh, after hand watering it yesterday evening, hand watering it this morning, it's pretty much back to normal. But on back on the actual, and I know I keep saying this, I'm sorry, I, there's so much information we could talk about and I wanna fit it into this video and not prolong the video. But when we're talking about hydrotain, it pulls the humidity moisture out of the air to help reduce watering in our lawn. We did it everywhere in my lawn. And as you can see, it's kind of shaggy. Everywhere in my lawn got foreplay. Um, so these areas are stressing out on the banks. And we talked about that Monday as deep roots matter. I know that there's rocks and there's junk up here on this bank because it always stresses out first and it's no different. Hydrotain's not gonna stop our areas from stressing out. It may help it to survive longer without stressing out, but eventually it's gonna stress out. It needs a certain amount of water to, to, to stay healthy looking. Everywhere else in the lawn is fine. So we put foreplay everywhere, and the only place I did not put it was right here, from the road uh, in front of the mailbox to about the hill, right here and you can kind of and maybe if i squat down you can see where this slopes down this is the ditch right here um i stopped right here somewhere and said now i did i did foreplay all back here in the rest of the lawn and purposefully did not do it here and i just want to show you that yes uh, in these foreplay areas do we have fungus first of all well yes i've walked you guys around the side i walked you around you know the last four videos i've shown you the front lawn i've shown you the side the back yes we absolutely have fungus uh, uh in in the areas where i've applied foreplay well next question do we have fungus in the areas where we did not apply foreplay and the answer is yes we do we have die off um uh, you can see right here just you know here's a blade let me just eh, there's a tip i mean here you go it's the same stuff you know we're seeing in other parts there it's shriveled up you know on the tip here and it's trying to die um there's it's now does it look at, does it look similar to everything else in my lawn and i will say visually yes it may be tough for me to show you that here's another blade you know just showing you i mean you can see um there it is it's got you know leaf spot maybe some of you guys were saying um melting i think is what some of you guys were saying that's that's what most of the grass that is infected is looking like right there so yes even the areas where i did not apply any hydrotain any foreplay i'm seeing the same thing now i just added water yesterday and now it looks a hundred percent better in this section but i am seeing both fungus in all areas of my lawn not just areas where I put the foreplay. So I wanted, so is that absolute proof, Mr. Ferguson, is that, is that absolute proof that foreplay, you know, doesn't help promote fungus? No, it's not absolute proof. I don't think you're, unless you do your own test at home, you will, some of you will never be convinced. But when I didn't put any here, and I'm seeing fungus in the same sections that I did not apply foreplay as I am the areas I did. It's just fungus hit my lawn. It's not a matter of foreplay welcomed it in or ushered it in or made it worse. Um, it's not worse, any worse in my lawn than it is here. Um, and so, uh, but, but, but let's counter that. So could, could we have fungus in the foreplay areas and not here, but our mower blades bring it over here? Absolutely. That's why I say, uh, this is not solid evidence and hundred percent fact because your mower blades could mow over this section that has no foreplay where we do have foreplay here and bring it and drop it, you know, with those nasty blades or wheels or whatever, or our grass clippings from this area with fungus and foreplay get strewn and thrown over here and it causes it in in the non foreplay section so absolutely that is a possibility so if somebody was typing that out uh, th yes so this is not 100 percent evidence that a foreplay does not cause fungus could it yeah i guess it could do i really believe that foreplay and hydrotain uh helps usher fungus in the lawn i don't believe so if anything i showed you guys monday how it dramatically helped it was helping. I showed you how bad and thirsty this section really looked as I showed you the picture before. If I still got it, I'll show you again. This section was gray, shriveled, dried up. I mean, it looked so it looked like desert grass. It was so thirsty. And then the grass right behind it where we had applied foreplay, which is in the same section, has grass by the driveway. I mean, identical 
it looked healthier. It wasn't a hundred percent looking, I mean, but it was noticeably healthier in the four play section than it was in the non four play section without a doubt, hundred percent. So buying that product and applying it, I personally, this year, this, I really feel confident that four play helped my lawn. It is helping. And come this next week, I'm going to be applying this. And now, now that I see that I am going to be adding the nine ounces, you know, per thousand. Well, the, the base rate to this area and doing the three ounces in the thousand square feet and reapplying my foreplay because it absolutely uh this showed me it was helping my lawn um and that's what i'm saying well mr ferguson you got a big old stress spot right there how can you say foreplay is helping when you got a big old stress spot well again as we said monday that goes back to your roots do we have rocks under here yes i know we do because as you can see right here in the daylight this area that we um, that we dug out last summer is doing absolutely fine. It is it wasn't stressed out. It's still not stressed out. Everything around it. Here's a picture of that. I took a picture because it was so noticeable um, that the area I dug out is doing just fine. Everything around it was stressing out because the dirt underneath is rocky, nasty soil. It needs to be replaced, but I don't have the money, the time, the effort to do that. So that is why we're getting stressed out. Here's what I'll say about the foreplay factor. It will ex reduce. 50% reduction in water needs. So it's going to stress out, but the foreplay could have made it instead of it stressing out, you know, uh, this past um, Thursday when it began, you know, it may have started stressing out on Monday because of the lack of foreplay that was pulling the water out of the airs, if it makes sense. It's still going to happen. It's not a fix to watering. It's just going to reduce. It's going to hold that moisture longer. The other thing we talked about was natural adjuvant from Pete at GCI Turf. Uh, it's a, also a 50% water retention, I believe, in natural adjuvant. If you're adding that to your fungicides, if you're adding that to your liquid fertilizers, um, if you're applying that to your lawn, it helps your grass blades retain water and reduce the amount of water you need. I didn't know that. I was using natural adjuvant all last year and I'm like, and I learned it the beginning of this year. I'm like, holy crap, maybe the natural adjuvant was a huge factor in helping me to survive summer for the first time last year. So we'll end it there. I'll quit blabbing, but I'm learning even uh, as I tell you guys, year four, I'm still learning about lawn care. I'm learning about fungus, learning the do's and don'ts. Uh, I'm going to be bagging my clippings today. I'm going to be changing my blades. Um, I, I don't want to, you know, run over any of this but some of this grass like over here uh, needs to be cut most of it on the bank does not but you want to get on i'm not using the lawn striper um, but we're going to get on the grass we're going to mow it and we're going to get off and uh and, and then watch for watering hopefully we can survive till monday so happy wednesday to you guys let me know your comments below how is your fungus looking is anybody coming out of it uh, that you're like mr ferguson i'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel in my lawn let me know especially if you're in north carolina um, i'm still I, it looks better um, the 505 I put down looks like it's it's that's what's causing a little bit of growth here and if I get down you may be able to see just a little bit some of the blades that are sticking up there um, you can kind of see the growth that I'm talking about so uh, anyways let me know if you're coming out of the tunnel but happy Wednesday I don't want to prolong this any longer than we need to God bless you guys uh, uh, check out the links below for foreplay if you're interested for natural adjuvant if you're interested 505 those things I'll keep putting the same things down there seems like the Armada and the um, um, uh, the, the Clary's, the combo, it seems to be working. We're not 100% out of the <laughs> woods yet. We'll have to do a couple mows to find out. So uh, God bless you. We'll see you on the next Lawn Care Video on Friday. See you later.